Hello and welcome to a behind-the-scenes look of our short film Phoenix, which is actually more than twice as long as the film itself. I'm Florian Friedrichs, the producer and director. I think it's also effective big cities that are only space, so they're really also in China they they like that, uh, but yeah, go to main street. So this is our first day of shooting. As it was very difficult to find trains with a nice looking interior and even harder to get permits to shoot inside a train, I had the idea to look out for a train museum. Et voilà, we found one just one mile outside of Berlin. And the people from the historical city trains of Berlin were very nice and allowed us to shoot in one of their train wagons. The one we used is actually from the 1920s. You should feel very privileged to live in the army. Yes. An Eva Bard. Yes. The Bards. We put a green screen behind the window in order to put in the backgrounds we created digitally in post production. And what's interesting is that we used stock footage that we bought online for the landscape. Then Tobias Krupper, our VFX supervisor, comped in our city map paintings into that stock footage. Set and action. Hello. Oops. Yes. I had to move you, my young and the mom. Uh, roll sound. I found these very cool looking buildings in Berlin Adlershof, one of Berlin's suburbs. They're actually pretty old, from the mid 1930s. And inside, there were engine test beds for airplane and turbo engines. So I guess we all can assume who built them. Nowadays, they are part of Berlin's Humboldt University. And that building that we used for Eva's house is a cafe for students now. That's actually something that has always moved me very much. In Berlin, you still can find many places and buildings that have a really dark past, but now they serve a completely different and good purpose. And then we come in with our cameras and turn everything upside down again. But burning books in front of a college building who does not dream about it. Martin Gürdes, our SFX supervisor and one of my closest and dearest friends, built a very cool device so that we could fire up the books with natural gas instead of using gasoline. Here you can see him act as Henry and operate the gas system at the same time. What can I say? It was a low budget production.
Ooh, the villa. What an amazing building. Marlies Tim, a famous German architect, built it. And she and her husband also live there. So we were very lucky they let us shoot in there. The building alone added so much production value to our film. There's a nice story how I found it. At first we were having trouble finding a nice location that could serve as Aiden's house. It needed to be classy, big and imposing. It needed to have a yard, etc. And at the same time, it needed to represent his feeling of loneliness. But to make a long story short, I took my car, I drove around Berlin Zehlendorf and suddenly there it was. I found it. I rang the bell, the rest is history. In addition to the very beautiful interior that was already there, our art department, Patricia, Julia and Leon, added so much more to make it feel as if Aiden really lived there. The safe they built is so damn cool. When you watch the film, maybe you'll notice that Aiden types the numbers 655321 into the safe's panel. The number is a reference to one of my favorite movies of all time. Day four and the action begins, literally. We shot the action sequence in an old deserted power plant in Berlin. And these two days were really Martin Göre's days. Seite umblättern, 21, du? 
Und ihr könnt vielleicht euch so quasi gleichzeitig irgendwie Martin and his business partner Wolfgang Stegemann and their Perfect Action Stunt Team did such an amazing job. I mean, we had wire work, explosions, flamethrowers, fire stunts and all on a short film set. Set and action! Bombastic. Yeah, like not a typical film explosion. Let's hang you in and do the rehearsal. Good. Three, two, one, action! So we're gonna have them walking, okay? Yeah, and then they're, they're, they're moving. Or oh, just, if I can have just okay. them moving once. Yeah, that's, that's what cool we want. Three, two, one, action! And I really have to say, this was the best team I ever worked with. Everybody was highly professional. Even though nobody got any payment, they worked so hard and with so much commitment. From the gaffers to costumes and makeup, they just loved what they were doing. And you can also see that in the final picture. It was so damn cold down there, but nobody complained. We were all having fun and knew what we were doing was very special. I have known Martin since we were kids. We went to school together. And we always shared our passion and our love for movies and also movie making. It all started with tiny video cameras and little illegal self-built explosives that we made from firecrackers. Energy up. 
Ladung kommt ran, Schritt zurück, BAM! Schritt ran, Tür auf, Flammenwerfer hoch. Cutting, kill fire. Wie erkennt sich jemand? Und Flammenwerfer. Ja, die war's. Hey, ja. Here is Timo, our fire stuntman. And what you see in his face is not his burnt skin peeling off, it's his stunt gel to protect his skin. Kamera set und Bruno. Steig aus. Es steigert sich zu einem, jetzt realisiere ich, schlucken, da passiert was ganz Schlimmes. Jetzt, jetzt realisiere ich, ich muss es ignorieren, aber ich kann es nicht durchatmen. Well, it's just a wrap for today. Awesome. Woo. Thank you Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>We shot the forest scenes a little outside of Berlin. Even though we have some big forests right in the city center, it is hard to get permits. So we had to move to a private forest in Hohen Neuendorf. Okay, lighting fires. Here we use the blue screen technique to put in a future city skyline into the background in post-production. This is Tobias Kropper, our VFX supervisor, taking his notes. He as well did an amazing job and helped shaping the world in post-production. Unmerklich. Heute sind wir groß. Siehe, diese meine Arme sind bis an die Ellenbogen im Blut getränkt. Jeder meiner Gedanken gebiert Gräuel und Verwüstung und mein Wort bedeutet Tod. Good evening. How are you? We're shooting here at the forest location. Seven bearded men around the fire. There is no fire and actually there's only two bearded men. But hey, who's counting? We have Toby here behind us. Special effects manager. Manager. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. And another bearded man that he's not sitting around the fire, but he still grew a beard. <laughs> and um, now we're going to take you live to the scene. Follow me. Itama is always a real enrichment for both the set and also creatively. 
His costumes are unlike anything I have ever seen in a short film. Bruno ist zu euch gestoßen, ist jetzt Teil eurer Gruppe. Er ist auch dabei zu, zu lesen. Ja, er liest, macht genau das gleiche wie ihr, spricht in eins von den Diktaphones und liest den Text, der, den er für besonders wichtig hält. Ja. Da darf das eine große Bewegung sein. Himmel, umdrehen, aufstehen und das ist euer Zeichen, aufzustehen. Ruhe bitte, wir drehen. <lacht> Roll Camera. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Sound rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's a wrap for today! Oh, yay! yay. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Fire! <laughs>